Good evening everybody, thank you very much for joining in. This side Rahul Magan here acting as a Chief Executive Officer of Treasury Consulting LLP. And today we are going to cover a topic on our YouTube channel which is uh, Contingent Convertibles Basel 3. Now this topic is turning out to be very very important nowadays as we under understand that a lot of talks which is happening across the globe pertaining to Deutsche Bank. Deutsche Bank is in a big mess and uh, I was just viewing the uh, Bloomberg TV and I got to know that Deutsche Bank uh, repriced more than, uh, in fact, priced more than 37 loans wrongly. <laughs> wrongly, wrongly in uh, Germany. So if you carefully see that Deutsche is in a mess for all reasons. Anything, any news which is coming pertaining to Deutsche is coming negative. And in fact, I was expecting that Deutsche price would uh, would uh, reduce to single digit, could be 9.5 or something. But that not happened currently, it is trading at 12. And there are other talks which are going about the capital structure of the Doshi, which we are covering today, which is also known as contingent convertibles, Basel 3. Now, what had happened over the period of the time, uh, there was a time, uh, you know, a very good time uh, when we were studying in our MBAs when uh, people used to take money in the form of debt, straight debt. Like, take an example, I'll take money from you for 10 years, I pay you L plus 120 per year, as simple as that. So, once the 10 years will complete, everything settled who are you what are you who am i what am i doesn't matter as simple as that now what happened over the period of the time you know the finance market changed and finance market came up with new terminologies and here comes subordinates and here comes hybrid capital shortly known as embedded capital to whom i'm ter ter terming as a hybrid the so-called accounting will term this as an embedded capital yes i fully appreciate that hybrid and embedded are not fully uh, same there is a difference between hybrid capital and uh, embedded capital but here we are talking about hybrid right so what had happened people created a hybrid capital and one of the instrument is shortly known as coco which is known as contingent convertibles now what did happen in coco now take a simple example as per the research reports by doshe approximately 70 billion dollar of contingent capital has been raised in europe in the last few years and this contingent capital is all scheduled to convert into equity or write down if the European banking or the global banking would continue to be in the, in the mess. Like I was watching the Bloomberg TV you know, on which the chairman of the JP Morgan was there and he was suggesting the same thing. That central banks cannot resolve everything only by doing the monetary policy. He was suggesting that yes of course by 2000 uh, from in 2008 all such would be unconventional monetary policies but sitting today these all are conventional monetary policies because we are using it from the nine years and you are and uh, if we carefully see that you are supposed to use this for another 10 years so these are all conventional if sitting today i will ask a question from you what is the difference between a conventional and a non-conventional monetary policy I strongly doubt that I will get an answer of that because sitting today conventional and non-conventional monetary policies are the same. We are heavily reliant on that. Now similarly in that regards the banks created a capital structure called contingent capital. But why there is a need for contingent capital? These all uh, before moving ahead let me summarize you a few terms which are as per the Basel 3. One is SIFI, systematically important financial institutions. SIFI and Doshi is one of the SIFI. If they fail you I will understand what I mean to say. GSIBs, globally systematic important banks, DSIBs, domestic systematically important banks, AT1s, additional tier 1 capital, ST1s, hybrid tier 1 capital, and CT1, common equity tier 1 capital. Now, what are the two types of COCOs? And contingent capital can be applied on both, which is additional tier 1 and additional tier 2 capital as per Basel 3. And all those Indian viewers who are watching these videos, they very well understand that by effective 2019, Basel 3 is getting applicable in India. And as per the research report, Indian banks need approximately $90 billion of the capital to cover up the Basel 3 capital norms. Considering the mess we have in Indian bankings and the toxic asset of approximately 6.34 trillion INR or $6,34,000, it is I sincerely doubt on the valuation of uh, uh, six uh, on the valuation of uh, uh, $90 billion that you need to cover up. Henceforth, COCO is turning out to be very important. In fact, if you carefully remember that State Bank of India recently issued a bond of 10 years in the US market, it was not it wasn't a contingent capital, but this was 81 additional tier one bond. And this was the first time when Reserve Bank of India uh, approved 
any public sector bank to came forward and uh, take the money in the form of AT1, which is additional tier 1. So in this, what would happen? Dossier would raise the capital in the form of debt, assuming 10 billion dollars. For a simple reason, 10 billion euros. And assuming the rate is Euribor plus 100 bips. Euribor plus 100 bips. Now what would happen, they continue to pay this interest, but they, like I said, this is known as contingent capital. There is a cap on that. Now cap is that, today my capital adequacy ratio is 10.5%. But if it would fall below 7%, then entire debt would convert into equity without your permission. So you are an investor who invested in this $10 billion of a bond raised by Doshare Euribor plus 100 bips for 10 years, right? And what would happen now after this, once if my, if my capital adequacy ratio will fall from 10.5 to 7%, it would convert into equity without your permission. And as far as uh, this document is concerned, which I downloaded from the internet, this document clearly suggests that we have three big examples of contingent convertibles, which is Barclays, Credit Suisse and Society General. In case of Barclays, it will not convert into equity, it would be complete write-off. So if it will, if this capital adequacy ratio will reduce from 10.5 to 7%, fortunately it is 7% in Barclays, that the entire money would be write-off. And here the money is $3 billion. You can see this on the camera. And in case of Credit Suisse, which is getting matured in uh, 2022, almost same time of Barclays, there is a there is a, an interest rate of seven. Uh, the trigger amount is seven percent, and it would convert into equity. In case of Society General, it would be a temporarily write-off. But here the trigger is 5.1 5.125. So here the trigger is very lower. This is same thing which is happening with the Doshi. And Doshi is currently trying very hard to protect their interest. In fact, they are doing the asset stripping also. Now, what do you mean by asset stripping? They first sold their CDO business, which is collectorized debt obligation. Then they sold their UK unit. And now there are talks which are going on that the yacht that Doshi has cooked the pricing of the derivative instrument. And because of that, they are consistently getting the gains which they are recording in the credit side of their PNL. So right now there are a lot of talks which are happening in the media which suggest that Doshi is planning to sell off their uh, their derivative business also. And if this would happen, this is a clear indication of the fact that they want capital adequacy ratio to be closer to 10.25% because they know if it fall to 7%, this all contingent convertibles would trigger. And once they would trigger, it would convert into equity. We, are, we don't have the data pertaining to Doshi whether uh, this conversion would be into equity or this conversion would be into the debt. But as, as far as my knowledge is concerned and as far as the tone which we are watching on the Bloomberg TV is concerned, the tone clearly suggests that it would, it would be a write-off. And so people are in panic. I, I might be wrong here because there is no data which I found on the internet which can suggest me that the contingent convertibles of the Doshi would convert into equity or in the form of the debt. So this is how the contingent convertibles will move. Believe us that contingent convertibles is of various types. These are a structured products. So here we have taken an example of Barclays, Credit Suisse and uh, Society General. Barclays, Credit Suisse and Society General. We might have a lot of examples because Doshi reports himself suggest that today you know, uh, you would have the total contingent convertibles of roughly $70 billion issued by the European bank in the last few years. So this is a concern. No doubt that contingent capital is a concern. Henceforth, if you look at Basel 3, if we look at Basel 3, you would get to know that here they have made CEIT, equity capital at 4.5%. After that, they made a buffer of 2.5%, which is capital, conver capital conversion buffer, shortly known as CCB. Right? In equity capital, this is equity capital plus reserves and surplus. Here they have made a buffer which is 2.5% uh, which is subordinate financial instruments and here after that they have made 1.5% additional 81 which is additional tier 1 bonds which is for loss absorbing capital and then they have taken 2% uh, tier 2 capital which is extra stock and here comes for GSIBs globally systematic important banks here GSIBs 
and here they kept a size counter cyclical buffer of 2.5 percent and above this there is an additional buffer of 1 to 1 2.5 percent for CFEs systematically financial important uh, systematically important financial institution so if we carefully add up you will add up to 10.25 percent and here is currently the doshi and where the conversion would happen here here the conversion would happen because Deutsche currently is saying that they have the enough capital as per Basel 3. But if you look at here, if Deutsche will reach here, then the conversion will happen. And if conversion will happen, we don't know, it will either convert into equity or it will convert into debt. If it convert into equity, then it is good for Deutsche. Ultimately, they are getting the money for the longer tenor. But of course, the promoter will lose their percentages in the company. But if it would convert into debt, then it would be a right, it would not convert into equity, it would be a write-off. And this write-off will create an havoc in the system. Because don't forget that in 2008, when the banks write off the subprime loans, subprime and all day loans, subprime loans, it was a big, big issue in the system of the write-off. And we are, I think, we are heading towards that. This was the purpose of the video is to introduce you about the concept called contingent capital is to let you know it's not to scare you but to let you know that the threat is little bigger than what we are conceiving right now. Threat is not simple it is much bigger. Ultimately it is our call and I might not be surprised that after the issuance of 81 additional tire 1 by SBI there would be further issuance by the public sector bank as soon as we will move closer to 2019. But nonetheless, we need to be very particular and we need to aware ourselves that how the things are moving in the, in the financial system and how contingent capital can impact us. You are always welcome to connect with us at Treasury Consulting LLP at the rate gmail.com and our alternate email ID is rahulmagan8 at the rate gmail.com. My mobile number is 9899242978 and my Skype is Skype, uh, sorry, my Skype is rahul5327. We are very pleased to share that uh, our website is almost on the way and probably by this week or uh, next week, next week our website is coming. With this we are launching several things. We are launching uh, the CFO services, virtual altar, uh, virtual altar services, we are launching treasury merchandise store, we are launching treasury club which is the Mavericks, we are launching the GRC forum, global risk and compliance, we are launching several things with treasury consulting LLP. And with this, we always thank you uh, for giving us the confidence to do business in the market. And in case you have any query, you are welcome to connect with us. And our magazine is coming probably by Monday by or Tuesday for September budget. We take your thank you and hope you like this video. More videos of the contingent convertibles would be on the play. Thank you and have a great day.